Now to those new concerns about homegrown terrorists. The FBI investigating three teenage girls caught trying to make their way to Syria to join Muslim radicals, allegedly lured over the Internet. ABC's Pierre Thomas is in Washington, has the latest on all that for us. Good morning, Pierre. Good morning, Robin. Authorities say this is another disturbing sign that radicals in Syria have become quite effective at recruiting American young people, even teens. This morning in the Denver Muslim community where these three girls are from, shock and concern. My blood ran cold. If these young girls did make connections with someone, I'm very confident it was through the Internet. The girls of Sudanese and Somali descent, only 15, 16 and 17, are not being identified because of their young age. But sources tell ABC News they were seduced by videos like this. The advice that uh, I have for the sisters is very important that they come. Videos that call for violent jihad and hatred of the West. The girls were allegedly convinced to fly all the way from Denver to Germany with plans to take them to Turkey and eventually into Syria to the middle of a bloody civil war. Last Friday, the father of two of the teens filed an urgent missing persons report after the girls skipped school and disappeared. He later found his daughter's passports were missing, along with $2,000 in cash. They were stopped by authorities in Germany and sent home. Sources tell ABC News the FBI is now investigating whether the girls were recruited by a shadowy network of radicals overseas who may also have funded the trip. Another example of someone who's created a very slick, sophisticated package coupled with money and adventure. This is the second case out of Denver in recent months. A 19-year-old woman who was planning to go to Syria to marry an ISIS radical recently pleaded guilty to supporting terrorists. The relationship was forged online, including via Skype. Her attorney says she now knows it was a terrible mistake. She was led terribly astray. She is now paying the price for those choices. Now prosecutors face the difficult decision of whether to prosecute. They must decide if these were misguided children or potential radicals. Robin? All right, Pierre, thank you.